Okay, what we've got here is we've got a bank statement from our bank here. And what I've also got here is my cash receipts journal and underneath that I've got my cash payments journal. All right. And what we're now going to do is we're now going to make sure that we're going to reconcile our bank balances to the balance that is in our cash at bank account, which is this amount here. Because we can, we can get timing differences in doing uh, our transactions versus the bank's transactions. So, for example, on a Friday night, we might, have, uh, we might do the processing of, uh, say, some checks, but we don't put them through to the bank until Monday. And that accounting period might close in that time, and what we do is we um, uh, have a discrepancy between what the bank is saying we've got as cash and what we say we've got as cash. Now, my bank, um, my bank balance is, at the, at the moment, is $219.41. Uh, cent, uh, hang on a minute, is it? No, it's $375 is the opening balance. There it is there. So that's my opening balance up here. There's my opening balance, sorry. Sure. Now, as a process, what we're now going to do is we're going to compare all these items in here versus our bank statement. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole process because it's just a ticking process, but you can see if I look over here, I've got $305.78, and if I look over here, I've got $305.78. You can see here that uh, previous, my previous month I had an outstanding deposit which was $119.50. That's come through into my bank account this month. So you can see that there's some timing differences that go through. Uh, now, one of the things that I need... I'm now just going to fast forward. I'll pretend I've ticked off all, all the things. So I'd be going through here going, yeah, there's that 60, there's that 60... There's that 310, there's that 310. And I'd be doing the same thing on my cash receipts, my cash payments. So I've got my $5.15, there it is there. $25.50, uh, where is that? That's there. Uh, $275, there it is there. $25, there it is there. Um, hang on, here we go. We've got one here, $31.80. And it actually comes on on my account here as $30.80. Uh, so I've got a little discrepancy so what I'd do is I'd put that um, item through as an adjustment so there's an adjustment to my account of $1 and I'd notice also that when I get down to the bottom here I've got my accounting fees and I've got my accounting fees of $11 and my transaction fees here of $9.50 and I put them through as um, accounting fees and adjustments. So they'd go actually an adjustment below the line and I'd come up with a new um, cash at bank balance. All right. So that becomes my cash at bank balance there. Now, what I'm going to do is now I want to do a reconciliation. So I've got, um, I've got some amounts that I need to reconcile. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reconstruct my general ledger account. Now we already know it was $375.90 because that was on my reconciliation. So that's that amount that's on my reconciliation there. So balance as per the opening of my bank balance. And what I'm now going to do is I'm going to add in my cash receipts. Um, cash receipts. And my cash receipts for the period was uh, $2,148.85. So I'm going to pop that into my... Um, cash receipts for the month so my cash receipts where we say 248 2148 85 now I'm also going to put my cash payments through as well and my cash payments come in as um, uh, 2098 26. And now what am I looking for is my account balance. And as soon as I find my calculator, which is here, 
good old trusty. Uh, I'm going to look at this and find out my cash receipts. 375.90 plus 214.885 comes down to 2524.75. So that must mean that this side must also come to 2524.75. And um, my difference now will be, so hang on, I'll deduct the difference, find the difference. Uh, minus 2098.26. And I come up with 426.49. And this is my new bank balance. And that balance just transfers down to here as an opening. Uh, 426.49. So I'm going to try and reconcile that. Now my bank account tells me, back here to my bank account, oops, and that's my cash receipts. My bank account tells me that I've got $399.10 in it. And my general ledger account tells me I've got $426.49. So what I need to do is I need to find out if there's any outstanding deposits. So I'm going to look through um, my cash receipts and find out if there's any sales that have gone through that haven't gone through my cash, cash and bank account. Now I was ticking all these off and um, I can sort of quickly run through and go 319, 111, 305, 265, 204, and this 219 down here is what must be an outstanding deposit because it's not in my credit column on my cash and bank statement, on my cash, yeah, my cash and bank statement. So I've got, a, I've got an outstanding balance. So my first outstanding balance is 219.40. Now if I add that up, that becomes 58. Uh, 40, 618, 50. Now if I look at, I take my my cash payments journal and what I'm looking for is I'm looking for some items that might, might not necessarily be here. Now I already made that adjustment for that $1. Um, I've got 275 which is here. I got fifteen dollars, which is there. I got thirty dollars, which is there. I got two seventy-five, which is he here. I've got uh, I got two two seventy-five amounts. Oh, yep, there's another one down there. I got sixteen dollars ninety, which is there. I've got uh, twenty. Where is it? No, that must be outstanding. So I've got an outstanding balance there. I've got. Um, Okay, I'll tick off these last few. There's $38 there. Um, my 298 dollars thirty, which is that one there. 4918, which is that there. 112, which is that there. 9410, which is that there. So what we're doing is we're finding that it's these items down here that are in my outstanding balances. Alright. So what I now need to do is I now need to put them into my reconciliation. So my outstanding net balances or my unpresented checks, which is 19.22 for ten dollars. Um, I got 19.23, which is for seventy-seven dollars forty. Uh, 19.24 which is $22.05 and 1925 which is for $82.56 so I've now put all those into my reconciliation I'm now just going to total those up here we go 10 plus 77.40 plus 22.05 plus 82.56 and that gives me 
6.01 and that's a, a less than so if I take away 618.50 I get 42649 and what I've done now is I've gone from my bank balance which is over here of $399.10 uh, which we started with up here and I've gone back to my bank balance which is what was in my general ledger account that we calculated up there. So I can say that I've accounted for all the movements of my cash from my general ledger and from my bank statement.